After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed, and not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We got to get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're fine. You're just gonna leave me here. Come on. Anyway, can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. <laughs> you boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. Hey, look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target.
Don't let him give us a slip. He could be headed anywhere. If we don't catch him and plug him, he might even move out of state for a while. We need to whack him tonight.
Something to do to back here. Come on, Tom. Gorillo's gotta be close. Survive that? 
Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. And no. It don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bastard's daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. Fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Right, a friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. 
I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. Guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now. 
Ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Bellinger's department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes... Hey, fella, come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey, get out of there! We ain't going nowhere. Turn around! Someone's come? coming true. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, mister. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Is that you, cop? 
You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming true. Main cell block. Keys locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protected by Rome. there'd be more of you to evict us.
How long have I been out? I came from up here! 